So if you are trying to create and sell your digital products online, one of the best things you can do is to create an engaging mock-up that communicates the value to your customer so that you can stop the scroll and therefore get that sale. I'm gonna share with you exactly my step of how to create these engaging mock-ups and how you can do the same thing. I'm gonna share that all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you are new here, my name is Jaden. On this channel, I do everything from how-to videos and step-by-step -step guides, teaching you exactly how to create and sell your own digital products online. And so if you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And at any time you're getting value in today's video, let me know by hitting a like on today's video. Also, if you wanna go faster and further, then check out my other helpful tips in my description box below. Now let's jump into the video. So one of the main things I can tell anybody as a pro tip, if you're trying to sell your digital products online, is that make sure you are creating an engaging mock-up that can stop the scroll in regards to your digital products. And one of the best ways you can do that is by having a mock-up image that communicates the value of your product to your customer. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you my system and my process of how I create these digital mock-ups for my digital products and how you can do the same thing. I'm gonna share that all with you right now. So if you're selling things like digital uh, invitations or maybe you're selling digital uh, printables such as planners or um, wedding cards this is a great place for you to mock up those images to sell on etsy so as you are downloading your file you will notice that you will get a pdf and this is a way that you can go through the instruction guide of how to use it and you can simply hit download now to access your file there's other helpful tips and resources that i want to share with you down below and so feel free if you are a new seller online and you want to get the most out of selling on Etsy then check out my helpful video tutorials on my YouTube channel. But going back to the top, in order to access your digital file, you will just click download and it will lead you to Canva so you can gain access to this template. And so I'm going to share with you how to use this template now. So to get full access to your template, just go ahead and hit use template. And now we are in Canva. And so Canva is a great way, again, to drag over your designs that you made and actually plug them in uh, to this guide here so you can clearly display your product and give further information to your customers. And again, this is a great tool to use because what really makes sales online is when you display the value of your product to your customer. And so more than just putting your image here, I give you several different uh, cues for you to put valuable information so that your customer can know what your product is all about. And I believe that the more uh, clarity you give to your customer by providing a little information of your product, the more confidence your customer will have to check out with you. And so again, this bundle particularly comes with 18 different items you can use. Again, Etsy allows you to use 10, so you don't have to use all of them. But as I would suggest you to do is just select the ones that will best suit to display your product and list those in Etsy. So now I'm gonna share with you how to actually use this for your digital mock-up designs. Alrighty, so now that we have our template open and we have an overview of what's here, I'm not gonna show you how to input information to make your uh, digital products really stand out. And so this is great, again, if you have created a digital invitation or maybe a uh, wedding invite card or maybe a printable wall art design, this is a great way to demonstrate what you have. And so I have already created several of these and even took some examples from Canva uh, itself just to give you an example of how to use it. Now, this is your main page that I think is a great place to display your overall product and the name of your product and some of the key features that it have on here. What I love about this little area here is that you can just drag and drop whatever design you have and it will land right here on your product. And that really makes this stand out very well. And so again, it's super easy to change this. Again, if I don't want this to be this design, but I want it to be something else, I can just drag and drop it and it overlays over my product very well. And so if I just wanna change the name of this, I can call this birthday invite, and I can stay here. This is fully customizable in Canva. And it's also good to let people know what features come in here. And so I can tell them that it comes with a colorful design and let them know that it's easy to edit in Canva. And I can let them know that they can print this at their local print shop. So again, this is a great place 
to communicate the value of your product and some of the key features that it has in here. What I also like to do is to display the brand name. I believe if you're selling on Etsy, then having kind of your icon here, your logo, really display that your shop is a brand. So inputting your logo here is really easy to do. You'll go into your upload area and find your logo or your brand title and just drag it and drop it here. And you can add your brand name here if you want. And you can easily change the font if you like to something that fits your raw style of your brand. And again, this is just easy to do and really makes your whole uh, display of your product uh, look gorgeous and just stand out very well. Now with these here, you can change the color of these tabs and that's easy to do. Just go to the top portion and change the color to whatever you like. And again, you can see already this looks pretty amazing. So what I also like to do is to change the background here. And so you can change this color as well. Whatever is white, you can change it. Again, you want to make sure that you pick a color that really allows this to stand out well. And again, I try to pick a color scheme that fits well with my overall design. And essentially what I'm doing here is what you can do with every single area in the template that we have here. So every design that you see, you can change the background, change the color, drag and drop any of your digital products that you have. What I like about this also is that you can actually drag and drop an image if you want that to stand out a little bit more. And I drag and drop that background in and I'm going to bring the transparency down a little bit. And as you can see, that really allowed that first display to look very well for our product. And so just play around with it and see what you like and see what style you want to bring out. But again, I think our design looks pretty good already. So again, this design come with multiple variations of how you can display your product. Again, if you don't want to have this top portion here colored, you just come back and just use the basic design that we have. And again, I want to drop in my design here. So let me drop in a different one for us today. Maybe you're doing a holiday party and simply drag and drop it here. And say if I don't want this to be that color, I can go in here and again, change the color to whatever style I want to have. And again, I can also change the product name. I can put my brand here again, just simply drag and drop as we did with the first one. I can change all of the things that's included in this bundle. Again, these things are here to communicate the value to our customer. And again, I can easily drop and drag a picture in here to make this stand out a little bit more. So I have my white tab here. Again, I can keep this or I can delete this. It's all up to you. And if you want to delete it, you can simply go in here, hit delete. It'll take it away. And again, you can fade this out a little bit more so it can blend in with the background. But again, this is all up to your creative design. So again, we try to offer you several different uh, thumbnail designs because again, I believe that the more options you have, the better you can see what works. And so what I love about this particular design here is that it really makes the image pop out because it has that dark graded uh, shadow feature in the back and all these things, all these colors can be changed. So let's drag and drop in one of our wedding template designs. Again, I'm just dragging and dropping here. And as you can see, that is already looking amazing as it is. Say if I don't want this to be pink and purple, I can go in here, change the color also. And go in here and change the bottom color as well. Again, this is truly up to your creative design but it really is an ease of use when it comes down to making your product stand out in that first thumbnail image. Again, change the product name if you want, add some amazing features in here, add a background if you would like, but I think that looks pretty well. So as you can see, our images are standing out extremely well and we have different styles for our first three thumbnails. Again, our goal is to provide you 
many different options so you can see what you like best. But as you can see, this is standing out pretty well. Again, everything you see on this template can change. So for instance, if I don't like these three colors here, I can go in here and change this. Say if I want to go with a more uh, pastel pink, just simply tap, change the color, and tap and change the color. Very easy to do. I can also delete this if I don't want to have it here. Or I can just simply hit copy and paste and add one more if I have just one extra feature I want to add on here. So we offer you several different ways to display the information uh, of your product to your customer. Again, we believe the more information you provide, the more clarity you give to the customer to check out with you. And this is a great uh, example of what I mean by communicating the value to your customer. So as you will see all over our design here, we have drag and drop features. So let's drag and drop some more things here. And say if I'm offering a wedding invitation bundle, I can add different designs to this template. And let's say if I wanna add a feature here, Again, I can let my customer know exactly what they can expect when they buy this from me. You know, SE only allows you to put 10 or so uh, product images. And so if you are offering a bundle or more products, again, this is a great way to communicate what comes with your products so your customer will have full understanding before they check out with you. Anytime you see a box, again, you can move these according to your liking. If you want to move the arrow, you can. You can even rotate it if you want. You can even make it go up here and highlight another part of your, your design. You can make it large by grabbing the edge or making it small. You really have a free creative design of how you use this template. So again, the top portion here, you can change if you want to highlight some information about your product on this page, all that is accessible to you. And same thing like we did with the other one, we can add the background or change the color if we like. Again, we can really make this stand out if we like. Or we can keep it white and drag and drop in an image. What I like to do with some of these images is to really make the center stand out. And the way I do that is that I go into the adjust tool in regards to uh, my image. And I just move this little tool here to kind of give a shadow to the edges and really bring out the centerpiece of this design. So again, this is a great way to display your overall digital products. Now, if I come to a page like this, you might see um, this, this little laptop here. And this is a great way to display the grid view. And what I mean by the grid view is that if you have multiple products that you're selling, like different type of wall art designs, or maybe you're selling a bundle of uh, journals or, or calendars, or in my case, digital invitations, you know, sometimes it's hard to display all of your designs at once because Etsy only gives you about 10 slots to display your product. So we want to maximize uh, the amount of information we provide and a great way to do that is with grid view and grid view simply allows you to see your overall designs that you have in one view, just like in our case here. And so you will take a screenshot of your grid view of your own digital products, and then you will upload that into this area here and simply drag and drop your grid view here. So in my case, I have created several um, template designs you can use to display your overall products. In Etsy. And so this is my grid view here. And I would do the same thing like I did with my digital products. I would drag and drop. So I'll drag and drop my image here. And if you notice, it gives an overview of all the digital products I have in my grid view. Again, this is really good to use if you have a bundle set or you're selling more than one digital product on your Etsy listing. Take a screenshot of your grid view, upload it into your section here, and just drag and drop it and then talk about the features and things that are included. Again, I believe it's always good to display your brand name. And as we taught you, simply drag and drop your brand icon here and put your brand name here. Again, you can change all of the fonts to fit your overall style. 
Again, this is really good to do for your overall design and allow you to communicate the value of your product. So again, we're just gonna drag and drop a couple of things here. And again, this is super easy to do and super helpful when it comes down to creating your own designs. Again, you can change the background and color. You can even move these around if you wanna change them or maybe just delete one. All this is accessible to you to use. Wanna make it larger? You can. Maybe you don't want it to rotate and you want it to be straight on. Use that little tool down here at the bottom. Rotate all the way left, all the way right, or maybe you just want it straight. But again, this really helps your customer better understand what comes in your overall template. So again, we have provided several different styles you can use here. And again, we really want to make this easy for you to drag and drop and provide different information here. Again, be, feel free to use as many of these templates as you'd like to communicate the value of your design. Again, this process is really, really good to use. Just drag and drop all of your designs here. And again, this really allows your designs to stand out, really allow your designs to pop. And what I tell every person that's selling on Etsy is that you wanna make sure that you are creating a system that works for you, that you are creating something that makes it easy and enjoyable for you to upload designs on Etsy, right? You don't wanna create things from scratch. You want to create them from a space where it's easy to do because you already have them made, right? And so when it comes down to selling digital products on Etsy, you really wanna make sure that you are creating a system that works for you. And this is a great system, again, to display your overall product and to help you create designs uh, quickly, but also in a way that communicates the value of your product to your customer. So that's the end of today's video, my friends. That was in a way helpful or encouraging. Let me know by leaving a like on today's video. And also, if you want to check out the 40 Etsy mock-up bundle, then check out my link in my description box below to help you create those engaging mock-ups. So as always, my friends, if you like content like this, I release new videos every single week teaching you exactly how to create and sell your own digital products online. And so if you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. But as always, my friends, I will see you in the next video.